Yeah, we have popcorn. You like popcorn? Yeah. We're gonna do a lot of popcorn. Popcorn's actually really, really good for her. Uh, so we're gonna do, uh, I got some popcorn already popped. We, we could pull that out. Yay! Hello guys, this video is gonna be very unique because I am doing a food challenge, grocery challenge, but it is in specific dietary guidelines that I am doing specifically for Naomi, who has Down syndrome. So Naomi, does have medical concerns. I don't really go too much into them on this channel, but recently it has been discovered that she does have an allergy to milk and there are some questions with the gluten going on. We have some blood work tomorrow to confirm or not confirm that. Either way, I know that I wanna go dairy-free with her, obviously, for, for obvious reasons, and um, gluten-free too. I want to limit grains. And we are going to challenge ourselves this month to do this grocery challenge, which I'm joining Pennies and Salt, Megan from Pennies and Salt. We have a lot in common. If you haven't checked her out, make sure to check her out. She's awesome. She's the one leading this challenge. And I had to hop on board because we have been posed with this difficult dietary needs, so to speak. I know that I also want to do this for my other kids as well, because I do think there are some dairy allergies with my other kids. And I think it's just healthy if I focus on eating at home, bringing food with us everywhere and, and like the natural stuff, not the preservatives and all that extra stuff they throw in, like even just potato chips, that's extra stuff too. I want good solid food, like food that God created from a tree or from a animal or from a plant, that, that kind of stuff. Financially speaking, it has always been, cause this is like some people are doing budget challenges, we have always, or at least I have always had the philosophy that we don't sacrifice quality. So I always look for the best quality foods in general for the lowest price. If that means that that thing is $3 as opposed to 99 cents with a bunch of preservatives in it, I'm going to go with the $3. Apples is one thing that I just don't want to get anything other than organic. So I'm going to keep track of my finances through this to see how much we actually are spending, but also looking in our pantry to see if we already have some things. So today is my first day of this lovely challenge. I have gone to Aldi's and I purchased a couple stuff and I'm going to head over to Sprouts. We don't have Kroger here, but we do have Kroger delivery and we also have Sprouts. Sprouts is good. Aldi, we have luck with Aldi. A lot of people don't, we do. So let's go there and um, see what they got. Um, yeah, this is ridiculous. Anything over a dollar for an avocado a piece? No. And grapes are for $2.99 a pound. All these, they sometimes have them for 99 cents or $1.29. Cantaloupe, $3.50 each. Nope. Lettuce, over $2. Uh, organic cilantro, not so bad. It's organic. I should not go to Sprouts on this challenge. It's been $13. That's not bad, but that's if, you know, I got some kosher marshmallows. They were on sale from $11.99 to like five bucks. I got myself some cilantro and some sweet potatoes because I felt like that was pretty cheap and I like organic cilantro. I mean, I just need to grow it. Mama needs some nutritional yeast. So I got some and it's non-GMO. So I'm happy with that. But I'm going to Walmart. Those prices, man. So I'm sitting here driving and it dawns on me. I don't want to go to Walmart. I want to go home. We have enough food. We have enough food to make it. So let's add this together. $63 at Aldi's and 13. So 13 plus 62. Come on, come on. All the, the homeschool kids that take math. 75. I know the answer. I really do. Side note, speaking of math, I, I checked the mailbox. You've got to, okay, so I, I did, I love teaching textbooks. For those of you that do homeschool, you can watch that video. I'm going to put a link, but the inside joke has just occurred between me and them. If you want to know the joke, you have to watch the video. It's so cool. Look at it. Produce, the $62. Avocados. Avocados are filling. Good fat. I will probably eat all of them. Look, I got these. I spent a little money on these right here. How often do you find guavas? Apples, I said I only get organic and I feel like all these in Costco are my win winners. I did get my son some green apples cause he loves those. Uh, ignore those, that's for after, yeah. No, honest, I'll be honest. I probably will make hamburgers one night and give Naomi just the meat and my other kids will put it in a bun. Um, that's gonna be our special cheat night. But I did get lots of lettuce, 
I got myself lentils, red and green. I did do juice. Oh, these better not have gluten in them. Nope, we're good, no gluten. Why would they put gluten in I, They do, sometimes they do. And that's for when we go out, sweet potatoes. I got a lot of sweet potatoes, win-win. Apples, uh, personal watermelon, apple juice. Uh, I didn't buy these. Oh, there's a banana back here. That was not from shopping, that's left over from something. Okay, good thing I found it. A ban that's a pineapple, not a banana, and uh, tomatoes. All right, so that's all I got for $62. All right, let's go through some goals really quick. So we are home and groceries are put away. Since this is for like budget, there is a theme of budget behind this challenge, and I am looking at how much food we actually buy. I'm also gonna try to use up the stuff that's already in the pantry, and I'm gonna try to stay, like I said, gluten-free, dairy-free as much as possible, as tempting as it will be to go back to that, you know, other stuff. Self-control, self-control. My goal is to use up these black beans this month, and bonus point, Organic. I do have wheat, but I'm not gonna use this wheat, but I have a thing of rice, so we're gonna use that rice. But over here, I have popcorn and rice. I have more rice, too. What? Yeah, we have popcorn. You like popcorn? Yeah. We're gonna do a lot of popcorn. Popcorn's actually really, really good for her. Uh. So for this specific diet that we're on, it's really, really good for her. So we're gonna do, uh. I got some popcorn already popped. We, we could pull that out. Yay. Up here, a lot of this is gonna be off limits. So we're gonna focus, chips are gluten-free. I also have some popcorn, and I got these my son. This is mostly for when, Wednesdays and Thursdays when we have therapy all day, I bring these out. So we're gonna do these. So ready for my stupid mistake? So I didn't check the expiration date on the marshmallows that I bought. I got like five days to use them. So that means we're gonna make ambrosia and sweet potato casserole. I got spinach. I got a lot of meat, which I've actually had a lot of meat. I just haven't used it. So we're good in that department and a lot of frozen. Um, and some salmon. I have some salmon in there and some frozen. I have some smoothies in there that they'll probably use up. It'll go fast though. And then I'll definitely have to go shopping again. Right now, I'm just going to kind of show you what I'm making through the week. For breakfast, I had lots and lots of tea. I also had some apples and avocados. Lots of eggs and kosher turkey sausage that we get from Costco. We also put together some fruit and marshmallows with some gluten-free homemade crepes with fruit. At lunch, we had some peas and potato soup that I had left over, and of course, leftovers. Whenever we went out, we had popcorn and apples. That's usually what I packed when we were out on the town, so to speak, and lots of salads. Lots of salads with avocado. For snacks, we had fruit. Fruit, fruit, fruit. Papayas. My mother-in-law gave me some papayas from her tree. We had apples, guava, just tons and tons of popcorn and fruit. Wait, you're gonna choke, girl. For dinner one night, I had some Moroccan quinoa and chickpea with zucchini and spices. That actually lasted two nights and leftovers for lunch. Is it spicy? You don't like it? You want a drink? And sweet potato casserole lasted a while with rice and beans. So much rice and beans. Thankfully, we are from a Hispanic family, so um, we have like a gazillion rice and bean recipes, so hopefully we won't get bored of this. It's um, Friday. We went to Costco. I, there, we had to, we went to Costco. So the cool thing about taking kids to Costco is they have free food. And so it was Slim Pickens. They did give out these like for free to everyone. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, so my kids filled up on this. They had some almond crackers that were gluten-free, dairy-free. They had some chicken out there, so I almost feel like we got a little snack in there for free. But they're still, they came home and they said they're starving. This was on sale. Yep, gluten-free. And we got meatballs. They were on sale too. Make your own pizzas, gluten-free. Oh, I can't use dairy. Oh, there's ways, there's ways. We can figure it out. Carrots and lettuce and mangoes and tomatoes and apples. Yep, and eggs and cucumbers. So that's it. We'll make it a week on this, maybe. It's the produce that we always run low on. So we made it through a week and a half. Tonight's dinner is going to be sweet potato casserole stuff again. 
And then I have these chicken meatballs that we got from Costco the other night. They're on sale, um, probably because the expiration date's gonna happen soon. That's, it's happening. But we're gonna have these tonight. They have their pineapple and, and teriyaki and no gluten and they're pork free. So yay, we don't do pork either. So to wrap up this week, what have I noticed? Now with some medical conditions with Naomi, things are moving in the digestive area without going into much detail. So we usually give her, I didn't mention this, but we have some magnesium supplements that we give her. And I noticed that, that when I mix that with a lot of popcorn, which somebody said that popcorn is a mover, it works. We're having good days almost every day. And that is putting me in a very happy place. Something that I have heard from other parents, from other therapists, children and adults with Down syndrome struggle with digestion system, things being backed up, so to speak. I even knew an adult with Down syndrome that every single day they took Miralax. I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan of Miralax and I want to avoid that if I can. So I'm trying to find alternative ways. I also think that cutting out the gluten and the dairy is helping out tremendously. I know that when she, everything's moving, digestion's working, she's happier. When she's not in that normal state, there's, she's irritable, she's cranky, all she wants to do is lie down, pretty much like the rest of us when we get in that state. Yeah, all that, plus, plus much more, but we're in a happy place. Now, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions for us, things that you wanna know. I'm obviously gonna talk about in my next video, changes with their behavior, changes with their attitude towards things, whether or not they liked the food. If you wanna know any recipes specifically that you saw, let me know in the description box below. Let me know what you wanna hear. Budget-wise, we're only a week and a half in and I've spent 150, no, almost $200. So I think we're gonna do good keeping under, under that 1,000 mark is kind of my goal a lot of produce. I'm gonna focus on produce and not buy anything but produce. And I'm going to really do some research to find some places. So I'm gonna head out. It looks like Naomi wants to play cars. Do you wanna play cars? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm playing cars now. No, it's really fun to play cars with her. Uh, and she's doing the, that's the come here sign. So um, I'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye. Yeah, what's your favorite car? Uh, Okay, what's your favorite car? Yeah. That one is, that one's your favorite car? Yeah. Ah! Do you wanna know what my favorite car is? No. Ah! <laughs> what's, do you know what my favorite car is? Ah! My favorite car, I do like the princess car, but I do have some fun memories with this one. Ah! It looks like Tron. Oh, you want it in a line? Yeah. It needs to be in a line, but this one's not in the line. <laughs> Oh, okay. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna put this one right here. Does that work? Yeah. Yeah. Beep, beep, beep. beep, beep. <laughs> Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs>